basically it's called Work While is Day. Me and my wife had privilege. Uh, we was looking at some, I was looking, we were looking for men that praise the Lord yesterday. And as I was looking for men that praise the Lord on YouTube, we ran across this particular minister. And the man was a preacher machine. A preaching machine. I mean, he was a staunch preaching machine. Young man. But as I began to listen to his preaching, we also discovered that they had his funeral also. And I said, like, wow. And he died round about, round about my age. He died. And I began to start thinking. You know, you got to work while it's day. Night coming when no man can work. We don't have time to be involved with a lot of foolishness. We don't have time to be involved with mess. We don't have time to be involved with a lot of church foolishness and hypocrisy that comes along with so-called quote-unquote Christianity. We got to be about our Father's business. Amen? So we did it with work and while it's day. Let's turn to the book of Acts, I mean, John chapter number 9. God, we ask that you bless this word tonight, today. Lord, sanctify it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. John chapter number 9 and verse number 1. Through one, one through five. We're not going to have a reading today because ain't a whole bunch of scriptures coming today. But I'm trying to encourage you today to understand you need to be about the Lord's business. You need to be about the Lord's business. Thank God for these jobs we got. I mean, y'all appreciate your job. I appreciate it. I'm, I appreciate my job. But my job is not my purpose. Don't get it twisted. Your job is your occupation. That is not your calling. Thank God for it. So I appreciate my job, but I understand that my job is not my call. Amen. And it goes on to say, so, and Jesus said, and, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin that this man or his parents, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, neither had this man sin, nor his parents, but that the work of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the work, the works of him that sent me while in his day, the night coming when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I'm going to go down to verse 4. I must work the work of him that sent me while in his day. The night coming. The night coming when no man can work. And in life, even though God has placed sunshine in our life, he placed blessings in our life. We got a lot of good days in our life. We got a lot of joy in our life. But I, I remember a song by Frederick Bell and May. I don't know y'all were probably listening to that back then. It was called Sunshine and Rain. It's like what joy and pain. And you're going to have some good days in this life. And in this life, you're going to have some days that ain't so good. Three and a half years. Could have been three and almost four years. But I'm sure it was not quite four. 
Jesus because he died at age 33. He started preaching at age 30, and at age 33, his ministry was over with. So you don't have to worry about somebody saying, well, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait till the Lord tell me. You need to wait, you need to wait a while. I'm not trying to change the go before God and get ahead of God. You need to put also when you find out the prayer of God, the wisdom of God, the promise of God, you need to start walking in it. You do not have time to backslide.